Hey, what's up guys? Uh, before we start with the tutorial, uh, here's what you're gonna learn. So you're gonna learn how to make the reverse kick, an ambient melody, the use of the sound effects, side chaining, compositing, beat switch ups, brass hits, flute, and bouncy hi-hats. So uh, let's get started. Here are a couple songs from uh, Downtime. Downtime is a producer that's produced for uh, many artists such as Swerzy and uh, Scarlord. He's also um, a producer that uses uh, Ableton, but in this tutorial I'll be showing how to do it in FL Studio. And it doesn't really matter what DAW you use, but um, they all do the same thing. It's just all about the drums and compositing. But yeah, that's pretty much it, so let's get right into the tutorial. All right, if you want to skip right ahead and go to the end um, and see what the final result sounds like, you can go right ahead here's a timestamp. But um, after you watch that, here, here's the entire song just broken down. So it starts off with this uh, Omnisphere. Um, I forgot what plugin or what preset it is. Did, did it just crash? No. Uh, God damn it! All right, we're back, and um, so this is the plugin I used. It is uh, in Noisecape, and it's called Tetra Breeze. This is what it sounds like. So I had to fix a couple things when adding effects. So I did a gross beat, so it sounds. Uh, I think it's just basic number ten. And it sounds like it just keeps going like that. And a panomatic, I added that so that um, it wouldn't pan from left to right. I added the preset mid. So now instead of, if you look right here, you can see it goes to the right more than the left and sometimes it goes to the left more than the right. But by adding this, it just always keeps it balanced. Wait, sorry, I lied. That's actually the stereo shaper. So it's not the panomatic. And um, yeah, stereo shaper, that's what it changes. I'm not even sure what the panomatic does. I just added it. Now it's perfectly aligned. So that's it for the melody, pretty much. And then the bass, um, I forgot what kit this, kit this is from. Um, oh, this is actually my kit. It's called the Bomb 808 think and yeah I think I pitched it down and added some effects so the effects are just this right here that's all I do to my 808s I don't have any distortion or compression just add a little EQ turn up the bass more and lower the sub bass so you can like, hear it more so that's all I did to that and then right here this is what the reverse kick is so um Downtime likes to use this a lot, as you can see, like from these examples right now. So pretty much um, all it is is a kick that's reversed. I took this from his drum kit. Um, I actually bought the drum kit and I recommend it. So um, this is all it is. It's just a kick and you click reverse right here. It sounds weird on its own, but in the song it like fades into another kick. This is a kick right here, and this is a reverse kick. So it sounds like this. So it sounds really good in the song too. Just like that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the reverse kick. There's really nothing special to it. Um, it's just right in front of it. And um, Another thing that uh, he did to the, he likes to do for the reverse kicks and the kicks is stitch sidechain. So I, I've i never done a tutorial on how to actually sidechain. So um, I guess I'm gonna show you that right now. If you wanna skip ahead, 
if you already know what a side chain just go ahead um so in the mixer your this is the kick right here um these are all the effects on it uh, i've shown this plenty of times it's still the same uh effects than my other tutorials and um the kick is here and basically i just link it to other channels you just click this arrow right here and it links to it and those are three empty channels so then i go on those empty channels and i add a fruity p controller and what this basically does make sure this is on mute you you can take the sound of the kick and it shows like a spectrogram so just like that and um basically you just link uh the sound that you want to sidechain to this channel so let's say you want to sidechain the 808 so you right click the 808 click link to controller and then you're gonna pick peak control peak and then once you pick that you go here and click inverted and then you click accept so now what that does is uh, link the bass so that every time you see something like this, the bass goes down. So this is pretty much it. And uh, if you want more in-depth tutorial just on its own, uh, you can leave that in the comments. But yeah, that's pretty much the basic of how to sidechain. All right, so let's go each drum separately. So it starts with the kick, I already showed that. Then it's the hi-hats. Just a very simple hi-hat pattern. Um, I pretty much stole this hi-hat pattern from his one song called Corrupt, but um, here it is. So it just repeats like that. And the hi-hat is from the Young Caster kit. Right here is a snare, just normal trap snare. You'll find it every single kit. And I just pitched it down. Sounds like that. And uh, I did some fill-ins. And then uh, here are the percussion. I'll just play it on its own. And this right here down there is just a open hat and it repeats like pretty much the entire song. And now we can go for effects. So it starts with the, uh, the first effect is this right here. So that's from Splinter Cell. I already showed that. This is uh, a flash, camera flash. And this is what he does a lot. So this is a Kill Bill sign. Pitches down all the way down. And makes sure it's, and he makes sure that it's like on beat. So it's like, And then this right here is just a, uh, I just added a delay bank on it. Um, this right here. And I this, this is what it looks like default. You just put this up all the way here and that's all he did. And then that adds a like really good delay. So this is probably a thing that he does a lot. Like pretty much all the songs is add this uh, brass. So you just like very subtle, you can hear it in the background. And um, the brass is called Hit One. This is from his drum kit also. So I'll link his drum kit in the description. I recommend it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And also uh, he adds a flute like all the time. So this is the flute I picked. So there's actually a free plugin that comes with FL Studio. It's called Morphine. And um, it's in Brass and Wind and it's Flute. So that's pretty much it. You just add it to the same key as the melody. That should be good. And then what else? So there's some variations in the 808, um, like this right here. Add some pitch shift. like that and so yeah that's very simple um, you just have to pick the right just the right drums so this right here um, is a second part 
uh, pretty much the same thing, just some reverse kicks here and there. And then um, it goes to a beat switch up. So downtime um, usually always like has a beat switch up usually. So it can either be a faster beat switch up or slower, but because of the tempo, it that's already like super slow. You can't really go slower than this. So uh, I put it up to 140 BPM. 147 actually so it just the tempo raise it rises all the way up to 147 took the same hi-hat pattern then I stopped it right here so yeah it's um this 808 right here for my drum kit and then um, the, just a different kick pattern. And it sounds really cool. And at the end, it's just a 808 like, pitch up. And at the end, I just changed the pitch to be slow. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So um, thanks for watching and I'll, uh, here's the entire song. And you can go in the description for the SoundCloud version of it. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.